Hi guys, welcome to another video, isolation content. We've been home, we've been isolated, going still crazy. But of course, you know, we're here and we're paying attention to what's happening online and apparently in Trinidad, it's a big deal. Everybody now is trying homemade doubles because Trinidad is in lockdown and nobody could get normal doubles from the doubles man on the side of the road. And this is me and my daughters. My daughter is behind the camera. <laughs> This is me and my daughter's first time trying Trinidad doubles. Well, doubles is a Trinidad thing. We will be following uh, internet tutorials and videos and trying to do it step by step. And hopefully it works out. So let's start the process. Wish us luck. As we said, we are making the doubles and it consists of two major things. One being the barra, which is the flatbread, that, uh, the fried flatbread that we're going to make now and later on we'll be doing the channel. This is the flour. We have some warm water ready to go here for mixing up. Uh, we have, what is this? Yeast. Yeast, uh, bacon powder, salt, and some saffron, or uh, most people will know it as turmeric. Mix that up now. All right, there we have it. We finished, knead it, and put everything together. And now we just have to cover it. Cover it here. See that nice little pattern? And just let the dough rise. Good. All right, let me uh, now cook the sauce that goes in between the two flatbread. In Trinidad, we call it uh, chana, and this is it here. You might know it as uh, chickpeas. And with anything in Trinidad, it needs to be spicy. So we have a nice hot pepper. We have garlic, and we have some cilantro. Now, the cilantro is a substitution. We usually, we go use in Trinidad, we use uh, shadabeni or bandania, uh, but we don't have that available in Jamaica. So, this is one of the closest things we can get. We all experiment in here, you know, we never made this before. So, let me hope that it all work out. All right, so let me go and get these cut up in one, two, three. I wish it was so easy in real life. Now, we have everything here. We have some salt, we have some uh, baking powder, turmeric and curry, we have the cut up veggies here, and we have the chana ready to go. So the next step is to go to the pot and start the cook. Pot bubbling here with water, so we just have to now add the chana, and for now, just the salt and, whoa, just the salt and baking powder. It looks like we have to add green seasoning and whatnot. At this point in time, all right, this has been boiling for some time now. The water has reduced a little bit. And uh, now we're going to just add in the, the curry and the saffron or turmeric. And of course, mix it in. All right, it's been simmering for quite some time. Move on all right. You can see the channel is very hard to, you know, break down. In the videos we watch in and instructions, we see that they actually use something and they squash it after some time. So we're going to do that, but not all of it, some of it and it looks okay the instructions we see online although it looks very watery but it's actually going to thicken up when it cools down a bit and we now have to move on to frying the bara so uh let's go and do that bara time let me check on the mixture there it is as you can see it's risen pretty well it's actually risen and it kind of fell out the underneath there and if you touch it ooh. It's nice and pulley and sticky. All right, and that is exactly how you want it. It's very famous. This is the most famous street food in Trinidad, but it is not healthy at all, as you will see in the making process. In the comments, I know some people might say, hey, that looks so unhealthy. We're, we're fully aware, but this thing does stay so good. At some points, we just don't care. Let me continue. So we clean the counter very well, and we're oiling up the counter. And now my daughter, that's my daughter, hands you're seeing there. She's the one who's going to now attempt to make these doubles ball, the barrel. We have our flour separated here into the different um, barrels. This is a barra here stretched out, ready to fry. So now we're going to put up the frying pan and let the oil hot. We have a little makeshift table, which is a box right next to our stove, so we can you know, have a nice flow going. And we put it in, you know, in a container like this, and we let it kind of steam. With the weight and the steam and everything, the barra remains very, very soft. And that is what you're going for. 
They're going for a soft barrel. It shouldn't be crunchy. I'm going to put that far up here. This is way too small. All right, here we are finally. We have the chana, we have the bara, looking nice. You know, usually it's put pepper sauce and some spices, chutney and tamarind sauce and all kind of thing in this, but we didn't have all of that. So we made a kind of onion sauce or something with uh, a lot of cilantro and whatnot, so it's very spicy. Usually you use greaseproof paper because as you can see, it's a very oily thing, but you know, I'm gonna do it with a napkin. So let me test my, my doubles make it. The doubles rapid skin. So yeah, you take a bar, one bar. You put your. Oh, did it actually take two bar? So I'm put this on. Oh, you take your chana. You put it on. It's cut. Ah, the sauce. And this is why they call it doubles because they have to put on a second bar, and that is it. You have your doubles. All right, so for the camera, I'm gonna eat it. Now I like to eat mine like a salmon. And I, I have this in a bar. All right, so not bad, not bad. For a first try, I'm actually very, very happy. Be looking forward to yours, Mali? Yeah. All right, so we'll do it in plates and stuff, you know, off camera, it's like normal people. To try to make another doubles in a less crazy manner. So one, and my daughter told me they usually pull out the two at the same time. So we have the double going there, right? Put your chana, and then your kind of masala or, or chutney, or whatever you call this. Now I also need pepper sauce, so I'm going to put uh, some dabs of pepper. And that's it. Doubles. And that's it. You know, we spent a good part of the day cooking the doubles and it turned out pretty well. I'm very, very happy. As you know, uh, as we said, this was kind of an experiment. We never do this before. How it was, Johanna? Just something new. Something new? Yeah. Yeah. And this is your first doubles in about seven, eight months, right? Yeah. Yeah. So look at that. We isolated. We can't go nowhere. So it's really time to really experiment and do all of these things. This is not something we could do all the time because as you saw, it's really not that healthy. But it's fun to kind of have a little remembrance of Trinidad, you know. And talking about Trinidad, I want to do a little shout out to my nieces, uh, Veshi and Navy. I know you guys watch the video. Hello. <laughs> All right. So, you know, we always appreciate you guys watching the video and everything. Okay. All right. And that's it, guys. Our doubles video in isolation. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Right. Remember to like, subscribe and all of those things. Bye. Yeah. Okay.